Hey, anybody remember Doki Doki Literature Club? It was released two years ago now. Time flies by, huh? Had some cool ideas going for it. It was pretty much a concept, but way too overrated. It was alright. I liked it. I don't like the too meta for you people who try to pretend they're deep for overanalyzing the fourth wall breaks. But we looked at the game while I was in where the jack is. It's just a poorly written creepypasta that tends to be all philosophical. Creators can't decide whether it's actual parody or satire or something super serious and emotional. The main overture is so shit that even the Silva Gunna parody sounds better. Only horror elements are blood and shock horror with the occasional spooky glitch. Bare bones story with none of its concepts fully explored. It's only remotely popular because it was free and some YouTubers decided to react to it. Your head cannon doesn't matter, buddy. The girls don't exist. Fact. The girls aren't real. Fact. The girls don't know you. Fact. They will never be real. Fact. There might be androids in the future which can be modified. Fact. You might be able to somewhat recreate a DVLC waifu in android form. Fact. You can't. You can program her to love you. Fact. This is forcing her into a relationship with you. Fact. This is a natural. Fact. This isn't real love. Fact. This is more akin to sex slavery than anything. Fact. Your waifu droid will never be more than a tenga egg this way. Fact. My life is not that rude. The game is literally just one of those My Mario 64 cartridge is haunted and Mario killed Luigi creepypasta from 2000. People eat it up as revolutionary and so emotional. I'm gonna marry Monica. Monica After Story, as a discrete bundle, is entertainment in the same way DDLC itself and all other such crafted experiences are. Monica should be generally taken to refer to a specific conceptualization of her, be it a personal one or an aggregate one. The same applies to all characters, really. Treats Monica like a toy. Justifies it. Doubling down this much. You keep talking, Doki friend. Please don't sexualize my wife. Yeah, that Pormanto definitely needed explanation and clarification, my dude. He can't handle a fucking joke, though. Go back to RDBLC, faggot. Well, it's kinda shit. Isn't Kanye normal fag or something? Did they shitpost one too many and get overrun by actual fans? Kind of impossible to tell what's ironic and what isn't these days. Why does Lolly have Serbian star on chest? He doesn't love the dolphin dasher unconditionally. The feels and ran out of topics in Monica after story. What now, goddammit? There are people ITT who have wasted two years on a fictional character believing her to be real. There are people, ITT, who claim to feel and hear their image wife like a legit schizophrenic in dire need of medication. There are people, ITT, who will waste a good chunk of their life wasting their time, love and affection, on someone who doesn't even fucking exist. Monica! DDLC board is the only reason I even came to Fortune, and the only place I've ever been on here. If I remember right, they had the idea for the gimmick and essentially just wanted to execute it. I might not be remembering right. No. But Monica After Story has continued to pamper its audience with what they want to hear rather than what they need to hear. Doki most likely to... Prison, Annan? We're in prison? The jizz blows into Monty's stomach. Just when your hips hump your way into a throat. Damn it, I don't want to reply to Obvious Bay, but I also have actual thoughts about why the bait being used at the moment isn't really valid. Like, you can enjoy something and move on and hold positive memories of it, and you can re-engage with something from the past. It's this little-known thing called nostalgia. And it makes more sense to think of characters as the version of the reader's mind than it does as the one true canon version. 
I don't know. I'm thankful for my experiences here. Even if I were to never add any further ones, I look back on a past where my feelings are stronger and more prominent fondly. And I think I always will. It's a little sad to try and take that away from people, even with such obviously flawed tactics and arguments. Yeah, DDLC fans are mentally ill. Because she's a fictional character and can't feel the supposed emotions the author was trying to convey. She loved you unconditionally. She doesn't love you. She doesn't even know who you are. She simply loves the idea that you represent. The freedoms that come with leaving the system that she's stuck in. But Dad, let's say that. Fuck him. I hate doing this, but I'm gonna have to invoke Death of the Author in this one. Do the fucking rodent in a midget skit. He's a weasel who tells his retarded fanbase anything to manipulate them into feeling or doing what he wants. But looking at the game's core themes, it's pretty obvious what he actually feels about waifu culture deep down. That is unless it's directly feeling into his wallet. Also, Monica's a selfish fucking bitch who fucks with beings who are potentially just as real as she is. All for her own personal gain. She only comes around when you fucking delete her, and even then, her solution to Monica 2.0 is to just delete the entire fucking game and everyone in it. Play the DLC! So you've seen them fat, but how are they blocky? Now oh, I'm fucking diamonds! Bunch of slack jawed faggots in the thread. Ow! Oh, I can't cheat in real, bros! Unironically enjoying the DLC. Some faggot on V tries to explain to me that I didn't enjoy the game because some other faggot screen capped his own post. I hope all these Monica threads are a sign that Danny Boy is making a sequel. Why are people even still talking about this game? It's been two years! Pack it up already! It wasn't even that deep or philosophical. Just a 2000 era creepypasta at best. The DLC is a literary masterpiece, and you would have to be a brainlet not to agree. Maybe go back to your pretentious Death Stranding walking sim. Supreme Champion posting is on Saturday at 8 p.m. at Sayori's house. In her basement behind the Anon poster, it's hollow. The base game is fine for a couple of playthroughs. It really isn't, though. The most you'll see from a second playthrough are a few spooks and an alternate scene before the Satori stuff starts getting serious. It's not even particularly subverse. Other visual novels have explored similar concepts in the past. DDLC is a glorified tech demo produced by a rat man. Reminder that Doki Love is strictly illegal. Reminder that the officer can go fuck themselves. Except that officer. I'll help her with that. It was just some concept for a greater universe that never really got expanded too much. Kind of a shame that Dan's dream vision never got fully realized, and most likely never will. That's just how the majority of forgotten fandoms die out. With fans aching for something that they'll never get. <laughs> Firefly! <laughs> Ten bucks says that Has No Tell is gonna end up the same way, dead and forgotten, with only one installment because no streaming service will ever purchase it. What happened to Project Libtina? It's coming out in 2018. That she subreddit it was honestly what got me to delete my account altogether. Oh my god, so creepy! It break the fourth wall and it seemed nice, but it's not! Oh! If you don't like us, then why are you here? Go away! All I want to do is to talk about dokies. I don't want anything to do with you! That statement was made a while ago. While Athena won't be a direct sequel, it'll have a ton of shoehorn DDLC references that probably originally weren't supposed to be there. Dan won't be able to make the game he originally wanted because of the screeching retards of the cry, WHERE'S MONICA?! I love Monica. What's the most autistic general on VG? Doki Doki, man, that's incredibly easy. Easily, Doki Doki. People are still playing this? Holy shit! He thinks most of them play it anymore. Empty Gag spends 8% of the posts in each thread calling each other trannies and schizos. Every visual novel thread is just people jerking off over the characters for thousands of threads. The Sonic General exists. The Undertale General STILL exists. It's way too hard to pick the most autistic. But these are the top contenders for sure. Gato Shoujo General number 3766. 
They've been discussing this vision all constantly for eight years? Vision novels with infinite discussion potential, like Yuma Neko, have dead fan bases, but this one short vision novel still has autists discussing the meta? Sorry, I can't stop having these fucked up fantasies of sexual violence against money. Mm.